Oh my god, there's vehicles. <gasps> What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Creative Destruction video. I know it has been absolutely ages since I made one. And with Season 6 around the corner coming next week, it's going to be huge. Now, in this video, guys, I'm going to break down every single thing I have found in Season 6. This is going to be coming. We've got new weapons, new vehicles, everything is to come. So, make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit a like on the video, and let's go. Yeah, baby, girl, you're so damn fine, though. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fun wine, though. When it's over, I press rewind, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamin's in my pocket. I okay, so welcome back to another video, guys. Basically, I'm going to show you first um, the Creative Destruction Season 5 full version, which shows some sort of hints of what Season 6 is going to be about and the changes that's going to be in Season 6. So I'm going to play the video, and then I'm going to break down some stuff in the video that's going to be coming in Season 6. So enjoy. After the defeat of the West Wind Warriors... Peace and quiet finally return to the Aurora Valley, but only until the Dark Age befalls. Gold brought fortune, fortune brought technology. And they found the cube that brought everything. Then born the Guardians, the AI robots. Guardians with high intelligence and ability to self-evolve. Although they can think and act like humans even with better performance, they have never considered themselves human, but only slaves. Too much water drowned the miller. Guardians have been mistreated for so long. They began to wake up. So began the war, the Dark Age. With inherent abilities in ultra-evolution, Guardians easily crushed mankind. So they took over control of the Aurora Valley. Every cloud has a silver lining. Fought and failed repeatedly, humans finally found out a way to overthrow the rule of guardians. Hope and wish stood out. The two leaders of survivors started an army of human renaissance called Illumina. They sneaked back to the Aurora Valley to fight for the last time with a final mission to save mankind. The bear statue in the lion park. That's where the energy cube of guardians lies. Once it is exploded, all the guardians will be shut down immediately. Will they be able to end the dark age and save mankind? Okay, so that's the uh, the video of Season 5, guys, and uh, basically there's a few hints in the video of what kind of changes are going to be in Season 6. So I'm going to go over them quickly, just to show you sort of what I've seen and what I think they're going to be adding into Season 6. There's nothing confirmed yet, but with this video being out, it, it leads to sort of speculation that there's going to be stuff added. So the first thing I want to go over, guys, is as you can see right here... Um, the, uh, the humans are kind of, uh, they're planning, um, some sort of bomb attack over Lion Park. So, it looks like Lion Park is going to be changed. It might be some sort of wasteland now. Um, because as you can see at the end of the video, um, he does actually throw a time bomb towards the middle of Lion Park at the, um, at the bear statue. So, as you can see, they're planning it out, planning it out right here. It looks like they're probably going to be, um, sort of either... Blowing up half of Lion Park. There's going to be some sort of crater where the bomb went off. Um, so that's a little sort of hint of, uh, of maybe a change in Season 6. Again, nothing confirmed, but it could happen. 
Um, the second uh, thing, guys, I wanted to mention is right here. As you can see, this uh, this human right here is using sort of night vision to scope on these uh, enemies, and it is actually dark right here when they're fighting. So, if you guys played Rules of Survival, um, when you joined into a game on Rules of Survival, it would either be night mode or daytime. Now, I think it would be an actually a, a really cool aspect for them to add. Um, a sort of night mode into creative destruction because they could add night vision sort of thermal scopes on the snipers so that could be absolutely amazing um and i think a night vision would just yeah would just add a, a, a different sort of feel to the game and it would uh it would add a different change as well which would be really cool um not a lot else in that video they're the sort of two things i've found um doesn't really show a lot else off but Basically, guys, I don't know if you guys have heard of Buildtopia. Now, Buildtopia is the Chinese version of Creative Destruction. It's the exact same game, but um, most of the stuff that gets added to Creative Destruction gets added into the Chinese version first. So I always check that before any new updates to see what they've added. So I'm going to play, uh, show you now exactly what I found in Buildtopia. Okay, so this is Buildtopia, guys. Like I said, this is the exact same game, Creative Destruction, of, as Creative Destruction. Uh, but in this game, they've actually added vehicles into the main Battle Royale game. Now, I know vehicles were only available in the sort of uh, be, be With You event um, mode. But, like I said, they've added it here. They've added tick marks here, which show the vehicles on the map. Now, I did test, guys. But when, when you actually use, say if I use this vehicle right here... The icon stays on the map, but the vehicle still, um, the vehicle won't be there. So, you only get one vehicle for thing, and they don't respawn or anything like that. So, like I said, guys, they've added sort of tick marks. They've also added egg chairs, random egg chairs into it as well, but we'll go into that in a second. But this is basically gameplay. Oh my god, this is basically gameplay of, um, vehicles in Creative Destruction. Now, like I said, this would be the perfect time for them to add it into the English version of Creative Destruction. Um, but as you can see here, it's going to be much easier to get around the map. Um, I think it's good as well. You can actually damage people by running into them with these vehicles. As you know, guys, they added um, they added ramps into the game as well. So they've just been there pointlessly at the moment. There's been no use for those ramps. We all thought it was going to be for the snowballs, but that's for the icy area. Um, so as you can see, guys, it looks like in Season 6, there's probably definitely going to be um, vehicles being added. And the vehicles do run on fuel as well. You can't see because it's right behind me. But basically, there's two bars right here which show how much fuel you've got in the uh, in the vehicle. So they do run out of fuel quite quickly as well. They only last for a couple of minutes. Um, but another thing I also notice in, in there, guys, is the egg chairs. So as you guys know... Egg chairs um, uh, are really useful, but say if you land, like I said, in here, they've added an egg chair right outside of the Eden Vines building right here. So say if you land in Eden Vines and you can't find a weapon and you've got someone there with weapons or shooting you, you can make a quick getaway because there's already sort of statuary egg chairs outside of these main sort of buildings. So another cool thing that they've added as well, which I really want them to add into the main game, is they've added... A little feature as well when you use one of these egg chairs which makes you blast off as superman look at that how incredible is that how incredible is that that is so cool so yeah they've added i mean like i said anything that comes out um in creative destruction gets put in a chinese version first so buildtopia it's a different name but it is the exact same game creative destruction so there's some cool things that have been added as well um so yeah, there's uh, like I said, the vehicles, guys. I think they're going to be added. It's going to be a good aspect of them to add, um, as well, guys. If you didn't know, in one of my old videos, um, there was a, a, again. They've, there's got to be some new weapons coming out in season six. Now, the main weapon which I've actually found in the patch notes of the game um, that have already been written into the script of of Creative Destruction season six is the M16. Um, I haven't got a picture of the script, but because it's uh, it's sort of too, it's not sort of the resolution's really bad on the picture. But they're going to be adding the M16 into the game now. They definitely need a new gun. Like I said, they got the Scar, they got the AK. There hasn't been any sort of new weapons out. But basically, yeah, the M16 is going to be added, which is going to be so cool. It's going to be a new weapon. Maybe there's going to be a new sniper added as well. Who knows? I think season six is going to be incredible. There's obviously going to be some new skins as well. Let me know in the comments exactly what you think about all this, guys. So, like I said, I mainly wanted to show you this video about the vehicle gameplay that's going to be added. That's the main aspect. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, guys. And, again, smash the subscribe button. Hit a thumbs up on the video.
and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, boy!